Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shemia was shy. Double honors to the elders of the great millstone who push this word to the elect. Or in sincerity and truth. Shalom to the elect and the brotherhood who teach this word out in the four corners of the earth on the streets in sincerity and truth. Um, rock a thumb to you all. Uh, I'm going uh, to do a lesson today uh, on uh, Israelite Bible Basics. And I'm going to go into the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. The name of the Most High and His Son or the true name of God and who the world calls Jesus Christ. And I'm going to get right into it through the Spirit and bring out the edification and the truth according to the Scriptures. Alright? So I'm going to start with this uh, Scripture here, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. And it says, Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the aims of the earth? All right? So the scriptures is asking a series of questions. All right? It says, What is his name? And what is his son's name? If, if thou canst tell. So who 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 went up to the heaven? Who came down from the heavens? Who 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 has has um um caused the winds to blow upon the earth? All right. How did the waters and the seas get here? Who established everything that we see upon the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. All right. And 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 that's the question that uh, Proverbs is um posing to those that read it. Because most of the world will tell you the Heavenly Father's name is God or Jehovah or Yahweh or uh, uh, Ahia, right? Or we don't know his name, okay? And the same thing with his son. They'll say his name is Yeshua. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is um, Christ or whatever. Or we don't know his name, right? They say, yo, play yogurt. They say and you can call them anything. So, the fact that those those things are being said about the heavenly Father and His Son's name in the world today, this scripture is posing the question because it's actually a mystery. Okay, the name of the heavenly Father, who the world calls God, and the name of His Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, is a mystery to most of the world. So they basically call him whatever they deem fit, all right? But according to scripture, the elect of the nation of Israel, the um, of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're going to have the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of the Son, all right? Because most of the world doesn't know the name of the Heavenly Father. Most of the world does not know the name of the Heavenly Father's Son. Okay? That's why Proverbs poses this question. But through study and through the spirit of the Heavenly Father and the Son, the elect is going to get the name. Alright, so with that, I'm going to start it. Uh, I'm going to go to the book of Revelation and prove that point. This is uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, which represents Israel, and with him an hundred and forty and four thousand, thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So the hundred and forty four thousand elect of the Israelites are going to are going to have the father's name. All right. They're going to have the father's name. And as you jump down to the fifth verse, it says here, And in their mouth was found no guile, meaning no lie, right? For they are without fault before the throne of the Heavenly Father, the Most High. So these elect 144,000 and the, uh, the rest of the elect, they're going to have the Father's name. And they're not going to be liars. They're going to tell you the truth according to Scripture of what the Heavenly Father's name and what His Son's name is. Now, Reading this in the English, 
in the KJV, the regular KJV, it says here in Revelation 14 and 1 that the elect only have the Father's name. Because you got certain groups out there that only push the name of the Heavenly Father, but they don't push the name of the Son. Well, I'm going to go into the Hebrew and give you the accurate um, understanding of Revelation 14 and 1. And I, um, I've i gathered this information from this website. Uh, it's uh, Sar Shalom, uh, dot us, which is the Sar Shalom Hebrew English Bible. All right. And I'm going to go straight to the point. Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. And this is it in the Hebrew. Okay, but I'm going to read it over here on the right to the English. And then now, now, this is exactly what we just read, but it's going to give you the right translation. It says, And I saw and behold the Lamb standing on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his name and the name of his Father written on their forehead. So you're going to have the Lamb's name, having his name, the name of the Lamb, his name, and the name of his Father written on their forehead. So you got to have both names. You can't just have the name of the Father. Of course, you can't just have the name of the Son. You got to have both names. That's what the elect really have. And I'm going to the Hebrew, and I'm going to read it. Um, I'm going to read it. They're having his name part in the Hebrew, at the name of his Father in the Hebrew, to the left, and prove that point. So, uh, this Revelation 14, 1, the Hebrew, right? Um, and this here is the word alapium. And the Hebrew, which represents um, the thousand, okay. So this is saying, so th this is the 144,000, okay. So the 144,000, which is um, uh, the elect of Israel, it says wa, wa shem wa, which is and name his or and his name, right? Which is talking about the lamb, wa shem wa. Washum, Washum, which is and the name uh, Abba Yahweh, and his and his father's name. That's what this is saying. So Washum Wa and his name, Washum and name Abba Yahweh, and the name of his father. So that's is what it's. So that's what it says in the Hebrew. The hundred and forty-four thousand. Have his name, the name of the Lamb, and his name, Washamwa, and his and the name, which is uh, Washam, of the Father, Abba Yawah, okay, which Abba is Father, all right, and that's the Hebrew. So, reading again in the correct translation, it says, And I saw and behold the Lamb standing on the Mount Zion. And with him in 144,000, having his name and the name of his father written on their foreheads. So you got to have both names. All right. So going back to the book of Proverbs. All right. It says, who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? Which is the name of the father What is his name And what is his son's name If thou canst tell Because it's a mystery Alright The scripture talks about The mysteries of the heavenly father So this coincides with Revelation 14 and 1 And who's Though that, that can tell The elect The 144,000 of Israel They are the ones that can tell Because as I read in Revelation, I believe, 14 and 5, all right, I'm going to read it again. Revelation 14 and 5. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Heavenly Father. So they're the ones that can tell, and they're not going to lie to you when they tell you the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right? So let's go into the Scriptures, and I'm going to start off with the Heavenly Father's name. Let's go into the scriptures and let's see what he says about his own name. This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 8. It says, I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise 
to graven images. All right. Now we all know that the word Lord is just a title. Okay. So let's go into the Hebrew to get a deeper understanding because we know that the English language is very limited when it comes to the scriptures. So let's go into the Hebrew and let's see what it says there. I am the Lord. Okay. Which up here it says on Yah, Yahawaha, on Yah, Yahawa. All right. That's what it says. Anya Yahweh. Anya is I. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's name. So that's so, so when we read I am the Lord, the word for Yahweh is H, which is Hebrews 3068 in the Strong's Concordance. So let's get that. Let's see what Yahweh is. Because that's how you pronounce it. It says Yahweh. Okay? It's uh, right here. It says Jehovah, but there's no J, there's no E or no V or no O's in the Hebrew. All right, when you go into it, and to prove that, I have up the Hebrew chart. Okay, and this is how you basically um, pronounce the Hebrew. Okay, Abba Gadaha, Waza, Khataya, Kalamanasa, Pataza, Kwarashata. Okay, you brothers can screen capture this image it has the uh, paleo hebrew on the left and the so-called assyrian hebrew on the right okay and this is how you pronounce it now the four characters for the heavenly father's name is yah ha wa and ha okay so going back to that word here okay that's how you pronounce it yah ha Waha and the Waha and the Ha are connected. All right, and going down here, uh, Yahweh, right? And you can disregard this Jehovah, because like I just showed you in the chart, there's no J's and or none of that in the Hebrew. It says name of the supreme God amongst the Hebrew. I believe it goes into saying that it's the personal name of the Heavenly Father. Uh, right, here we go. It says, um, basically, it, it, it goes into this is the uh, personal name. And the supreme name of the heaven. Right, right. It's like it. Here we go. Right here. This is what I was looking for. The proper name of the one true power. Yahweh. And that's how you pronounce that name. It's Yahweh. That's the name of the heavenly father. Okay. So going back to Isaiah 42 and 8. It says, I am the Lord. Which we know really he's in the Hebrew. He's saying, Anya Yahweh. Or I am Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So that's the Heavenly Father's name in the Hebrew. So now let's go into the Son's name. All right. Uh, it's the book of Acts. All right, chapter 4. I'm going to start at verse 7. All right. So we know that the Father's name is Yahweh now. So let's go into the name of the Son. Acts 4 and 7. And when they had set them in the midst, the the uh, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, um, they're the they, and the them is talking about the disciples and uh, the apostles of, of the Lord. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have ye done this? Then Peter Filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people, of, of the people, like you, and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole? Because I believe it was Peter that uh, made the man's hand; he was crippled, and he made his hand uh, back well again. All right. Matter of fact, let me go up and make sure that's right. Uh, it's probably the previous chapter. 
but there was a man that um, they had made his hand whole because he was crippled. I believe he had a palsy, if I'm correct. But it says, If we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means is he made he is made whole? Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shai, which here it says Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? It says, Be known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom the Most High raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. All right? Now, reading that verbatim in English, it says Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's go into the Greek. Now, the Greek for uh, Jesus Christ is Jesus Christos. Jesus Christos. All right? Now, let's get this word Jesus. Okay? Because that's where they get the name Jesus from. All right? From the Greek. And it's Jesus, right? And it says of Hebrew origin. Okay? Uh, which was Jesus, uh, Jehovah's salvation, Jesus, the Son of God, Jesus, Barabbas, which goes back to what? Joshua. Okay? Joshua was the famous captain of the Israelites, Moses' successor. So Joshua would be the equivalent to um, to Jesus in the Greek. So let's go to the uh, of Hebrew origin here. Let's click on it. All right. And it says, Yahweh, Yahweh Shawai, Yahweh Shawai. All right. Which well, this is how they get Jesus, right, or Joshua. It says Joshua or Jehoshua. Now, if you want to say Jehoshua, okay, you would say Yahweh Shawai, right? But it says Joshua or Jehoshua. So which is it? It's obviously Joshua, okay? And what do you have for Joshua? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, okay? So that's the name of the Heavenly Father's Son. Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's how you would correctly pronounce the name of the Lord um, who the world calls Jesus Christ in the Hebrew. So we have Yahweh for the Heavenly Father's name. Let's go back to that. Isaiah 42. Right? I am the Lord, which is here. Yahweh. Okay? Yahweh, and then you have Yahweh Shai here. Yahweh Shai for uh, Jesus, okay? Or the world called Jesus Christ, all right? Yahweh Shai. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father, all right? And it's down here. Yahweh Shai, okay? Whose help salvation is Jehovah or Yahweh, which the name Yahweh Shai means, it, it, as you can say Yahweh is salvation, but it actually breaks down to Yah meaning He, and Hawa Shai meaning deliverer. Okay, matter of fact, right here, down here, that's well called Hawa Shai, Hawa Shai. Okay. Hawashai. Hawashai is uh Hawashai was the, the first name for Joshua, but Moses changed it to ha to Yahawashai, which is also the name of one of the Israelite kings, King Hosea. And also one of the prophets was named Hawashai. The book of um um uh Hosea. Okay? But Hawashai means to deliver or to save. But Yahawashai, which is mean he, which means he is the deliverer. Okay? Alright? 
So it is Yahweh Shai. That's how you actually pronounce the name of the Heavenly Father's Son. Alright? So let's go back to Proverbs chapter 30 and 4. It says, Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? And we know now that the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the name of his son is Yahweh Shai. All right. Once again, Isaiah 42, Yahweh. All right. Acts 4, where it says Jesus, and the Greek is Jesus. When you go back to the Hebrew, okay, it says right here in the blue outline, Yahweh Shai. Yah, how was shy? Yah, how was shy? That's how you pronounce it. Yah, how was shy? All right. So reading Revelation uh, 14 and 1 and the correct translation, which was taken out of the um, um, KJV. All right. Or it wasn't added in there. Um, which I'm not sure why. That's another lesson in itself to figure that out. All right? But it is true. You must have the Father's name. But when you go deep into the Hebrew, all right? And and when you go deep into the Hebrew, you find out that you have to have the Father's name and the name of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, the name of the Heavenly Father's Son. So it says here, And I saw, and behold, the Lamb standing on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty and four thousand. Having his name and the name of his father written on their foreheads. Alright? And that's the truth. You gotta have both names. You gotta have both names. You gotta have the name of the father and you gotta have the name of the son. Alright? So with that, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh by Shemyon was shy. Double on the city elders of rule well. Rock a thumb to the elect out there. In the name of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai. May you continue to push his word of sincerity and truth. And until the next time and next lesson, Lord willing, I'm going to say Shalom.